And I think that process is going on as we speak. But we were looking for synergies of saving construction dollars. Jim McGivney, you're a developer and a construction guy. We thought we could save $40 million in creating an exposition hall if we had a joint hall with Italy. We saw marketing expertise being shared between these organizations. We saw National Western being able to feed off all the activity year round. Whether that alliance comes to pass remains to be seen. And so what we have before us is four or five scenarios, all of which we presented to the mayor, whom I like and I respect, and I believe he is well-intentioned and will do what he believes is right with city council leadership. And those four or five scenarios are stay where we are and do nothing. Logically, analytically, you always have to start from a baseline. That baseline is totally un unsatisfactory in my view, in my judgment, in the executive committee. Because if we don't do something, we will die a slow death because of all these challenges that I've outlined to you. And at some point in time, you, you, your neighbors, your friends, have to make a decision. Is this institution important enough to stand up, go shoulder to shoulder, and help chart an exciting, bold future. Because there are some people who don't see a way out. Unbelievable, but that's true. A second option, stay where we are and rebuild over a period of time and relocate part of our improvements to the west of the railroad tracks. Some iteration of that scenario is still on the table. Another scenario is for us to relocate. And one idea and one suggestion in which there are some people who are very enthusiastic about this is relocate next to Dick Sporting Goods Park which is close into Denver metro area. It's about 250 to 300 acres north of Dick Sporting Goods. There would be shared parking. It would be a greenfield site. And it would not require the building of improvements over a period of time and therefore save significant dollars. And the other options, frankly, are still out near, it's, people refer to it as DIA. It's, it's about half the distance from here to DIA. And yet people say, my God, DIA, that's way out there. Everybody's used to going out to DIA. But though there are two sites there that I'm not going to go into detail, but remain options and remain possibilities. And frankly, from our analysis, those options may be the least expensive. And that's the quandary and that's the dilemma, the political feel and pull for staying where we are may well be the most expensive. 
the one or two sites a little more removed may be the less expensive with the greatest opportunity to build a year-round show. And yet there is There is strength and there are positives and there are questions in all those sites. One of my friends sitting right here at Nichols is head of History Colorado and he's done a marvelous job in building and creating a new vision about what history in the Carter State <coughs> Historical Society used to be. That vision, that future vision of what the history and what our heritage means represents an enormous opportunity, an enormous potential educational business alliance with History Colorado. How do we pay for this? And with that, I'll close down. National Western Executive Committee is prepared to and said publicly that we will have a private fund fundraising campaign. That amount will be about $50 million. The National Western has researched and we can bond, create bonding for another 30 million to 35 million. But the balance is going to have to be an expression of public support and public funding through some mechanism. Whether it's Denver, Denver bonds, general obligation bonds, or whether it's metropolitan area stadium district tax are open issues. And those are the issues that we've got to work through over the next period of time. As well as, as well as, what is going to be the planned expected location, whether it be here or whether it be a relocation. The bottom line is this is a long march. It's a difficult, complicated be issue because we're not talking about a building. We're not talking about buildings. We're talking about a cultural manifestation of what we are. And that's why it's so critical. It's bold, it's visionary, it's exciting, and the <coughs> National Western leadership would not have it any other way. Thank you very much. Questions if uh, looks like there's several. There's one right here. Yes, sir. If indeed you do locate to another spot, yes. what do you envision for this area of the whole happy condition? We see this as an enormous redevelopment opportunity so close to central Denver, whether it be commercial, whether it be residential, whether it be mixed use. We see it as an opportunity to help rebuild and become a new gateway of the North Platte River Valley. I'm being vague because I'm not sure there are any more specific answer I can give you. Yes, sir. Having worked in this community development area before, one of the things we look for is industrial development or commercial development, in this case, tourism development. And it seems to me that the National Stock Show is a premier event properly reconstructed could be a year-round additional focal point to visit when you come to Denver. And that's very hard to do in the development world, is to have something like the Clifford Still come in, which gives you one event on an afternoon. Something that's going on out at the stock show gives you another event. And so you're trying to get people, instead of coming two days, to stay three days, to stay three, stay, spend four, and also to get more of a magnet. So I like the idea of a national history focus, something that would be ongoing in its ability to attract and, and galvanize tourism in Denver. Tourism is among the most attractive 